everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new here in today's video we are going to be talking about my spotify wrapped for this year i am very excited to share this with you my one took me by surprise this year it definitely wasn't what i was expecting um but nonetheless i'm really happy with it you know i'm quite proud of myself so i thought we're gonna dive in and go over my spotify wrapped so before we get started if you are new here hello please subscribe down below if you would like to i am trying to hit 9,000 subscribers by the end of the year and i'm really 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 close so please <laughs> help and without further ado let's get into the video what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through um put on screen what's going on here just so you can all see what i'm seeing right so we start off with this little screen right here so 2020 wrapped by spotify says the longest year ever may not be over yet i mean i wish <laughs> but your wrapped is finally here Ooh, excited let's start you off with a win you've discovered 299 new artists this year even in 2020 you've still found ways to grow 299 new artists i can't even think like who that could be <laughs> genre lust who says you have to go outside to explore they're really dragging 2020 and i live for it you listen to 418 genres this year including 86 new ones again not really sure what that could be my top genres were oh goodness i wonder what they're gonna be <laughs> dance pop modern rock pop rap and alternative metal i'm very surprised about the dance pop not really sure where that's come from but i mean okay <laughs> apparently that was my top genre oh goodness one song helps you get through it all <laughs> I literally can't believe your top song of the year is If You're Too Shy Let Me Know by the 1975 which okay understandable <laughs> I can kind of vibe with that I see where they're coming from the story of your 2020 with If You're Too Shy Let Me Know <laughs> my first stream was April 24th I think that is when it came out I'm pretty sure that's the day it came out my day with the most streams was April 24th for this song oh my goodness my 50th stream was August 18th oh okay must have just like not stopped listening to it then <laughs> and my total streams was 62 which to be fair I thought it would be a lot higher so I'm kind of surprised in myself a year like 2020 required backup these were other songs you had on repeat my top five songs are if you too shy let me know by 1975 boss bitch by doji cat which i mean yeah since i saw the harley quinn movie i had that on repeat so i mean fair uh level of concern by 21 pilots which i thought would be a lot higher but apparently i didn't stand as much as i stand 1975 who knows uh play date by Marilyn martinez that's primarily because it became a tiktok trend and i could not stop singing it for ages and then i think i'm okay with youngblood and travis barker and machine gun kelly which i then slipped into my youngblood stan moment in like february i think it was so that kind of that makes a lot of sense because that was the first song i think i properly listened to so i mean yeah that that, that adds up <laughs> this time wasn't real this year you revisited old favorites okay what decade did i play the most most. what do we think what do we think put your answers in the comments below what do you think i played the most so i personally think it's going to be the 2000s so we're going to go with that let's let's have a go cute i got it right oh my god 2000s really wow i really said like i'm not letting go <laughs> of the past your top song from this time was begging by mad Cop. oh my god what a bop literally that was like my childhood that song oh my goodness it was by your side in 2020 other than your house plants of course wow drag me <laughs> guess my top artist of the year who wants to take a swing at this right i'm gonna pause the screen again and you can go and comment below who you think my top artist was personally i think i want to go with young blood because i did stream a lot of young blood stuff so i'm gonna have a guess you truly know thyself yay i get it right your top artist was young blood you were in the top 0.5 percent of their listeners oh my goodness <laughs> your favorite song was i think i'm okay with young blood and travis barker and you spent 2109 minutes listening to their music 2000 minutes that is a lot my lord you listened to 1667 artists this year but these reign supreme oh my goodness what's my top artist i'm scared my top five artists are young blood the original cast of hamilton <laughs> the whole cast yeah uh lin-manuel miranda 
I'm literally baffled. Wow, okay, he gets his own spot, go off. Uh, 21 Pilots, number four, which I'm shook about. They have been my top artists for like two years running, I wanna say, three years running. So that shocked me, you know, they finally have been dethroned. And Leslie Odom Jr., which is also from Hamilton. Clearly, I stand Hamilton this year a lot. I did see the musical in January. Uh, so I feel like that kind of started, like started me off. And then when they put it on Disney Plus, it then just, you know, I just spiraled. So yeah, makes sense. I, I see where they're coming from. Here it is, the moment you've been waiting for or dreading. This is my top stats. Here we go, who's ready? We have got my top artists, which I've told you, my top songs, my minutes listened to, and my top genre. So my top genre was dance pop, apparently. And my minutes listened was a total of 40,417. I'm pretty impressed with myself, you know? So there you have it. That was my Spotify wrapped for 2020. I am very happy with that. Um, I am actually shook that young blood was top, you know? I'm shocked that 21 Pilots were dethroned and I'm also very shocked that Hamilton made its way so prominently into my um, wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my Spotify wrapped for 2020. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what your Spotify wrapped looked like this year. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.